The following section of this recording should be used for Practice Test 4, Section 1, Listening Comprehension. Part A, Directions. In Part A, you will hear short conversations between two speakers. At the end of each conversation, a third voice will ask a question about what was said. The question will be spoken just one time. After you hear a conversation and the question about it, read the four possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Then on your answer sheet, find the number of the problem and mark your answer. Number one. You're so late. I thought you'd never get here. My car broke down on the highway and I had to walk. Why does the woman say she had to walk? Number two. We missed you at Dale's party last night. I'm not going to any celebrations with that group because they're so tightly knit that they brush everyone else off. Why does the woman say she didn't attend Dale's party? Number three. Bill, are you still planning to buy that nice red sports car you looked at last week? I'm afraid that's impossible because I haven't been able to come up with the cash, and someone else has already made a down payment on it. What does Bill say about buying a car? Number four. Gail is supposed to be here at the meeting tonight. Where is she? She came down with the flu and had to stay home. Why does the woman say Gail didn't attend the meeting? Number five. How many people will be coming to the reunion on Saturday? We had to cross 15 names off our original list of 100. How many people does the woman say they expect to attend the reunion? Number six. You look happy this morning. I just came from my advisor's office and found out that the college board has done away with the foreign language requirement for graduation. What does the man mean? Number seven. I hear that Rusty's car is being repossessed by the finance company. Yes, he's fallen behind on the payments. What does the woman mean? Number eight. What did you do in class today? The teacher went over last Friday's lesson. What does the man say the teacher did in class? Number nine. Not getting that job was a big letdown. Don't worry. Something better will come along. What are the speakers talking about? Number ten. How do the Finleys feel about moving to New Mexico? They're really looking forward to it. What does the woman say about the Finleys' reaction to moving? Number 11. Where are you going in such a rush? I have to deposit my paycheck before the bank closes or else I won't have any funds to pay these bills. 
What does the woman mean? Number 12. Dan, how was your visit with your sister's friends? I hardly knew the people. What did the man say about his sister's friends? Number 13. You need to cut down on your sugar intake. I find it very hard to resist. What does the woman suggest the man do? Number 14. Was anyone seriously injured in the accident? It looks as if all the victims will pull through. What does the woman say about the victims of the accident? Number 15. Did many people buy tickets for the rock concert? So many people showed up to purchase the tickets on opening day that they were sold out by noon. What does the man mean? Number 16. Did Phil apply for the accounting position that was advertised in the paper? Despite his inexperience in the field, Phil applied for the job. What does the man say about Phil? Number 17. Who solved that difficult physics problem? No one but Gary knew how to solve it. What does the woman say about the problem? Number 18. What sort of response did you get on your request for additional funding? The response to my initial request was gratifying. What does the woman mean? Number 19. Will Amy be attending tonight's meeting? She plans to attend the meeting in spite of the homework she needs to complete for tomorrow. What does the woman say about Amy's plans? Number 20. Are you going to wait for Gil? He would rather that I didn't wait for him, but I plan to anyway. What does the woman mean? Number 21. Where is Diane? She ran out of milk and went out to get some. Where does the woman say that Diane is? Number 22. I want to go to the concert tonight, but it starts at 7, and I have to work until 5. There won't be enough time to go home for dinner. I've got an idea. I'll pick you up after work, and we'll eat downtown. That'll give us plenty of time to get to the concert. If the speakers follow the man's suggestion, what will happen? Number 23. I understand Oscar's been a little depressed. He's got so many bills that his wife says he'll never get ahead. What does the woman mean? Number 24. Where are your keys? I can't find them, but I'm sure they'll show up soon. 
What does the man say about his keys? Number 25. Did you and Stanley go to the concert last week? We would have attended if the tickets had not been too expensive. What does the woman mean? Number 26. I'm sorry to bother you, but I can't see when you hold the banner up. Sorry, I didn't realize it blocked your view. What will the woman probably do? Number 27. I thought Melanie was going to wear that pretty red wool coat you bought her. She couldn't wear it because it made her break out in a rash. What do we learn from this conversation? Number 28. Are you hungry now? I could sure go for a steak and salad. What does the man mean? Number 29. Does Jeanette like football? She rarely misses a game. What does the man say about Jeanette? Number 30. How is business? Our best agent hasn't sold a single policy this week. What does the man mean? Part B, Directions. In Part B, you will hear longer conversations. After each conversation, you will be asked some questions. The conversations and questions will be spoken just one time. They will not be written out for you, so you will have to listen carefully in order to understand and remember what the speaker says. When you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Then on your answer sheet, find the number of the problem and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Questions 31 through 34 are based on the following conversation. I can't believe it. Today I went shopping at the store near my house instead of my usual store, and the prices were fantastic. Is it one of those no-frills stores? No, they just had some good sales, and the produce looked better than it has recently at my regular store. What kinds of things were on sale? I got a dozen large eggs for 85 cents, beer for $2.75, tuna fish for 99 cents, and bleach for 80 cents. I bought a lot of food for less than $50. Where is this store? I might try it, too. It's the one on the corner of 16th Avenue and Main Street. Number 31. To what type of store did the man go? Number 32. Which of the following items did the man not buy on sale? Number 33. What was one advantage of this store over the man's regular store? Number 34. Which of the following is true about the man's shopping experience?
Questions 35 through 38 are based on the following conversation. Good morning, Friendly Travel Agency. May I help you? My wife and I are planning a trip to San Juan and are interested in a package deal. What can you recommend? Well, sir, we have a very special seven-day cruise, including San Juan and another port of call, tourist class accommodations, all inclusive for $699 each from Miami. We don't care much for cruises. In that case, how about a 12-day trip, including airfare, accommodations at the Venus Hotel, several trips to the Outer Islands, and two meals per day for only $749 each? That sounds more like what we had in mind. What else does it include? A sightseeing tour of Old San Juan and El Yunque Rainforest, and an afternoon at Luquillo Beach. My wife would certainly love that. When would you like to leave? March 15th. Shall I make reservations for you? Yes, please make them now. My name is James Morrison. That's M-O-R-R-I-S-O-N. I'd like to charge them to my Visa card. My number is 4555-2000-9361-8788. The expiration date is in June. After verifying your credit, we'll mail your tickets directly to you. You should have them in three days. That will give you plenty of time before your departure. Number 35. Where are the man and his wife going? Number 36. What is the man's name? Number 37. How does the man plan to pay for the trip? Number 38. When does the man wish to leave? Part C, Directions. In Part C, you will hear several talks. After each talk, you will be asked some questions. The talks and questions will be spoken just one time. They will not be written out for you, so you will have to listen carefully in order to understand and remember what the speaker says. When you hear a question, read the four possible answers in your test book and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Then on your answer sheet, find the number of the problem and fill in the space that corresponds to the letter of the answer you have chosen. Questions 39 through 41 are based on the following talk about roller skating. In an effort to fight the soaring cost of gasoline and public transportation, many athletic students have taken to roller skating. This means of transportation is creating traffic problems and is presenting a safety hazard for skaters as well as motorists in college and university areas throughout the country. If skaters do not return to the sidewalk, but insist on causing a dilemma for drivers and risking their own safety, the police will issue the violators $15 citations for disregarding a city as well as a state ordinance. In the past month, seven careless students have been injured, three seriously, as they darted into oncoming traffic. Many of them refuse to wear helmets and are suffering head injuries as a result. One student was thrown 50 feet and suffered a concussion requiring a three-week hospital stay. Number 39. What problem has caused students to take up skating as a means of transportation? Number 40. What law forbids roller skating in the streets? Number 41. Which of the following is not true?
Questions 42 through 46 are based on the following talk about early life in North America. When the early settlers, especially the English, arrived in the New World, the hardships and dangers awaiting them were totally unexpected. Had it not been for some friendly Indians, the colonists never would have survived the terrible winters. They knew nothing about planting crops, hunting animals, building shelters, nor making clothing from animal skins. Life in England had been much simpler, and this new life was not like what the Spanish explorers had reported. The settlers introduced iron tools, muskets for hunting, domesticated animals, and political ways to the Indians. In exchange, the settlers learned to build canoes for water transportation and to use snowshoes and toboggans for winter traveling. The Indians taught them to blaze trails through the forest, to hunt large animals and trap smaller ones, and to spear fish in the lakes and streams. The natives also introduced to the settlers typical foods, such as turkey, corn, squash, beans, and pumpkin. The early settlers did everything possible in order to make their new settlements resemble the homes they had left behind. Number 42. Which of the following did the new settlers teach the Indians? Number 43. What does the speaker imply about corn, squash, and pumpkin? Number 44. How did the Indians teach the settlers to travel in the winter? Number 45. Which of the following was not introduced to the settlers by the Indians? Number 46. Which of the following is not true? Questions 47 through 50 are based on the following announcement by a bus driver. Welcome aboard the luxury cruise bus to Dallas, Baton Rouge, and Atlanta. We are scheduled to arrive in Dallas at 1.45 this afternoon. There will be a 15-minute rest stop at that time. We will have a 30-minute dinner stop in Baton Rouge at 6.45 for those of you who are continuing on to Atlanta. We should arrive in Atlanta at 1.45 tomorrow morning. Please remember the number of your bus for reboarding. That number is 3224. This coach is air-conditioned for your comfort. Please remember that smoking of cigarettes is permitted only in the last six rows, and the smoking of any other material is prohibited, as is the drinking of alcoholic beverages. Thank you for traveling with us. Have a pleasant trip. Number 47. At what time and in what city will the passengers have a 15-minute rest stop? Number 48. Which of the following is permitted in the last six rows? Number 49. What is the number of the bus? Number 50. At what time is the bus supposed to arrive at its final destination? This is the end of the practice test 4 listening comprehension section.